Volkswagen was founded several decades ago, in 1937, and it is still standing strong, despite the many challenges it has faced. The same is true for its logo. The famous VW logo is always changing to show how unique the brand is. Many parts of the classic Volkswagen logo have stayed the same over the years, which shows how tough the brand is. We'll take a tour through the meaning, history, and elements of the Volkswagen logo, such as the colors and font, including the best car models that the brand has produced. Let's hit the road. Though the Volkswagen automobile emblem can appear in a variety of colors depending on the nature of the marketing or branding effort in issue, it commonly appears in blue and white. White and blue usually depict purity, strength, vision, and dependability. Unsurprisingly, the Volkswagen symbol is based on the company's name, which translates from German to people's automobile. By meaning, the Volkswagen logo consists of two letters, V for Volks, which translates to people, and W for wagon, which translates to vehicle. The letters are in a circle to show that they are part of a group and everyone is welcome. Volkswagen was formed in 1937 by the German Labour Front with the help of Ferdinand Porsche, the man behind the Porsche brand. The idea for the brand came from Adolf Hitler's plans to build a superhighway and make cars more affordable for the general public. When Hitler visited a Berlin vehicle show in 1933, he got the idea for Volkswagen. When Adolf took over as King of Germany, he asked Ferdinand Porsche to start making people's vehicles. The first car, the Volkswagen Beetle, was inspired by a sketch in a French magazine. Volkswagen is now one of the biggest car companies in the world, and it is known for making a lot of cars all over the world. Volkswagen, like many corporations with decades of industrial history, has a variety of symbols around the world. And many of the old Volkswagen logos look a lot like the ones we see now, but there have been some big changes over the years. Let's see those changes. The original Volkswagen logo, launched in 1937, was significantly more intricate than the image we know today. The letters V and W were still visible, one above the other in a circular frame. But there were some parts around the circle that looked like a cogwheel and a version of the swastika symbol. The removal of Nazi iconography from the former Volkswagen design in 1939 was the first major update to the logo. The cogwheel components, as well as the central writing in the circle, remained. The new Volkswagen logo conveys a masculine, practical, and aggressive image. The original Volkswagen emblem was updated again in 1945, this time with more color and joy. The soft colors of cream and brown and the passionate brightness of red gave the picture a nostalgic feel. The cogwheel design was dropped, but the central insignia was kept. Volkswagen streamlined its image once again in 1960. It presented a symbol that is extremely similar to the one used by the corporation today. As the company grew into bigger international markets, the square around the circle logo was meant to show stability. The monochrome hue of the Volkswagen emblem was intended to convey the brand's overall stability and power. In the seven years that followed, the square vanished and the traditional Volkswagen emblem circle reappeared. This new logo was similar to the one used in 1945. The minimalist design, on the other hand, incorporated a color shift to blue and white. In 1978, the company tried out another version of the blue and white logo. This time, the blue was darker and brighter. The logo was also tweaked slightly to double the framing around the letters. In this form, the V from the distinctive VW sign appeared to be a little smaller as well. The Volkswagen emblem was modified again in 1989, this time to a much lighter version of the blue and white color. The logo's proportions were altered significantly to make it appear cleaner and more attractive. The Volkswagen logo change continued in 2000, as the firm sought a more modern image. Volkswagen's changes included a lot of gradient use to make the symbol appear more three-dimensional. The palette's white coloring was given a silver tone, while the blue became deeper and a little darker than before. Another variation of this logo was introduced in 2012, emphasizing the 3D impression. The size of the logo was reduced slightly, 
while the letter lines were sharpened and made bolder. The overall impression was one of modernism and development. Volkswagen chose to remove all 3D elements from its logo in 2019. The image developed still further, becoming much sleeker and slimmer. Volkswagen's new logo was made to honor the company's new line of electric cars. This two-dimensional design is delightfully attractive, simple, classy, and a little futuristic, ideal for a new era of Volkswagen automobiles. On the other hand, the colors of the Volkswagen logo have changed a few times over the years. However, the majority of the time, the corporation has used either black and white or white and blue. Now that we have the evolution of the logo all sorted out, let's see how the Volkswagen brand has fared over the years. Volkswagen, VW, is a German automobile manufacturer that was founded in 1937. VW is one of the world's top automobile manufacturers, with an annual production output of 12 million units, resulting in a yearly revenue of around 150 billion euros. Seat and Skoda are among its brands. It also owns the exotic Audi, Bentley, Porsche, Bugatti, Ducati, and Lamborghini subsidiaries. As a global firm, it employs approximately 650,000 people and competes with these brands. Other popular products include Number 1, the Volkswagen Golf R 2022. The Volkswagen Golf R is the best hot hatch in Europe. It has 315 horsepower and all-wheel drive traction in a small chassis that grips and handles very well. The Volkswagen Golf R is a five-seater with only one trim level. The DSG, which starts at $45,985 and comes with a 2.0 liters i4 turbo engine and all-wheel drive, is the most popular type. Number 2, the Volkswagen Golf GTI 2023. Since 1975, the Volkswagen Golf GTI has been a motoring legend, and while today's GTI includes features such as LED lights and a digital gauge cluster, the essential recipe hasn't altered. A powerful engine, manual transmission, and the agility of a sports vehicle lay beneath the practicality and vintage plaid upholstery. Volkswagen keeps innovating, most notably with the addition of Vehicle Dynamics Manager, an in-car program that allows owners to tailor the GTI to their driving tastes. The Volkswagen Golf GTI is a five-seater with three trim options. The 2.0 TSE DSG, which starts at $36,875 and comes with a 2.0 liters i4 turbo engine and front-wheel drive, is the most popular model. The 2023 Volkswagen Golf GTI is one of the most fun cars under $40,000. It is quick in acceleration, braking, and handling. It's also highly practical, with a spacious interior, heated seats as standard, Apple CarPlay, and impressive cargo space. These features make the GTI a favorite among car aficionados. Some competitors are faster, but few can equal the GTI's usability and German elegance. Number 3, the Volkswagen Passat 2022. The Volkswagen Passat is a classic family sedan with a big cabin, a smooth ride, and lots of trunk space. Although certain aspects of the interior design feel outmoded, it's still a capable sedan worth considering. The Volkswagen Passat is a five-seater with three trim options. The 2.0 T Limited Edition starts at $31,570 and comes with a 2.0 liters i4 turbo engine and front-wheel drive. This Passat is expected to get 24 mpg in town and 36 mpg on the interstate. Number 4, the Volkswagen Taos 2023. The 2023 Volkswagen Taos, Volkswagen's smallest SUV, features the technology, elegance, and attitude that buyers desire in a modern car. The Taos is quiet and sophisticated, with nearly as much space as the larger Tiguan, but it isn't as sporty as its top competitors. The Volkswagen Taos is a five-seater with three trim options, the SE Forward, which starts at $30,220 and comes with a 1.5 liters i4 turbo engine and front-wheel drive, is the most popular model. This Taos is expected to get 28 mpg in town and 36 mpg on the highway. And finally, number five, 
the Volkswagen Jetta 2023. The capacious and fuel-efficient Volkswagen Jetta stands out in the small car market, providing an exciting European driving experience with a good ride and handling balance, snappy steering, and a quiet cabin. Overall, it's a good buy. The Volkswagen Jetta is a five-seater with five trim levels. The SE Automatic, which starts at $25,240 and comes with a 1.5 liters i4 turbo engine and front-wheel drive, is the most popular type. This Jetta is expected to get 29 mpg in town and 40 mpg on the interstate. Talking about competitors on the other hand, let's find out some of Volkswagen's strongest competitors. Topping this list is Toyota. Toyota Motors Corporation is a Japanese automaker that produces Toyota vehicles. It holds 17% of Subaru Corporation and another 8% of Isuzu Industries. In recent years, its unit production rate has been around 12 million cars per year, with returns of around 250 billion US dollars. Toyota was the market capitalization leader in Japan by the middle of 2014. As a result, it is one of Volkswagen's most powerful competitors in Japan and other Asian countries. It employs 365,000 people worldwide, allowing it to sell around 10 million automobile models and over 5 million nameplates per year. Daihatsu, Hino, Toyota AA, and RANS are just a few of its models. Second on the list is General Motors. General Motors is an American corporation that makes and sells automobiles and automobile parts. It was founded in the early 1900s. Its headquarters are in Detroit, Michigan, and it has operations in over 38 countries. According to current figures, General Motors sells over 9 million automobiles internationally, generating approximately $170 billion in revenue and an operating income of approximately $10 billion. This is made possible by its 218,000 professional employees, who are scattered globally. Chevrolet, Oakland, Hummer, Opel, Saturn, and Vauxhall are just a few of GM's automobile brands. General Motors is also renowned as a savvy marketer, rivaling Volkswagen's marketing. It is one of the most powerful Volkswagen competitors in the United States. And then, we have Ford. This is another American corporation that was created and incorporated in 1903. Like other automakers, Ford manufactures automobiles, Lincoln and SUV brands, and tractors. Ford, the second largest automaker in the United States behind General Motors, builds and sells over 6 million vehicles every year. Ford had an operating income of $6 billion and sales of $150 billion at the end of 2016 with over 100 plants and an average of 215,000 employees worldwide. Other investments include a 10% share in Aston Martin and a 50% stake in China's Jiangling. Following Ford on this list is Nissan-Renault. Renault-Nissan is a 1999 collaboration between the Renault and Nissan corporations. This collaboration has employed about 480,000 people, who directly contribute to over 8 million annual car sales. Among the Renault-Nissan vehicle brands are Mitsubishi, Renault, Infiniti, Nissan, Lada, Datsun, and Alpine. Renault-Nissan became the first producer of electric vehicles in 2016, with over 245,000 units shipped that year. Every year, the Renault-Nissan partnership manufactures and sells more than 8 million cars. Number 5 is Hyundai. Hyundai is a South Korean corporation that was created in 1947 and makes heavy machinery for the aerospace, defense, and engineering industries, in addition to automobiles. As a global multinational, Hyundai has a net operating income of $12 billion. Its yearly revenue is estimated to exceed $219 billion, and it employs over 270,000 people worldwide. Hyundai had sold roughly 4.9 million vehicles by the end of 2016. Aslan, Ian, Elantra, and Azera are just a few of its brands. Hyundai is one of Volkswagen's most formidable Asian competitors. Next is Mercedes-Benz. Daimler is a British vehicle manufacturer that was founded in 1896. 
According to the end-of-year report, its yearly production output was roughly 4 million automobiles, resulting in overall revenue of 150 million euros and profits of 9 billion euros. Daimler, which employs slightly less than 20,000 people, specializes in the production of the Jaguar, Whitney, Mark II Sport Saloon, and Daimler DS420 limousine brands of automobiles. Smart, Mercedes-Benz, and Mercedes-AMG are among its other subsidiaries. In the seventh spot is BMW. BMW was formed in 1916 as a German motorcycle and automobile company. Because of its quality and cost, this brand is generally favored by high-end clients. The total number of cars that will be made and sold each year is expected to be 2.2 million. This will bring in about 100 billion euros. The average number of BMW employees worldwide is estimated to be 125,000. The majority of BMW vehicles are marketed under the brand name BMW. Rolls-Royce, BMW i, a touring Formula One vehicle, and BMW M are among the others. Audi, a luxury automobile brand from Volkswagen, faces the most opposition from BMW, making BWM one of the most powerful Volkswagen brands in the premium sports car market. Number 8 is the Chevrolet. Chevrolet Motors Company is an American corporation that was established in 1911. It manufactures and distributes a diverse range of vehicles, ranging from light sedans to heavy-duty trucks. Its brands include the Avio, Captiva, Traverse, Suburban, Sonic, and Chevrolet Spark. Chevrolet sells nearly 2 million cars in the United States alone each year. In addition to producing and selling vehicles, Chevrolet Motors also repairs, maintains, and insures them. Number 9 is Honda. Honda Automobiles is a multinational corporation with headquarters in Tokyo, Japan. Its yearly sales are over 15 trillion yen, with a net operating profit of approximately 500 billion yen. Honda employs approximately 200,000 people worldwide and is the world's seventh largest vehicle manufacturer. The company has an excellent reputation for producing motorcycles and combustion engines. Honda manufactures power generators, garden equipment, marine and aerospace engines, and robotics in addition to automobiles and motorcycles. Its best-selling car brand, Acura, sells over 150,000 vehicles in the United States alone each year, while it sells approximately 16 million combustion engines globally each year. And wrapping up this list is Subaru. Subaru Corporation is a Japanese automaker ranked 22nd in the world in terms of car production. Its largest market is the United States, which accounts for 70% of overall sales. In 2016, total car sales in the United States alone exceeded 650,000 units, while those in Canada were slightly less than 60,000 leading to yearly net sales revenue of $28 billion. Subaru models include Impreza, Outback, Crosstrek, Forester, WRX, and BRZ. In conclusion, today, the Volkswagen logo is one of the most well-known and iconic pictures in the world. This logo has captured the attention of innumerable car enthusiasts all around the world, assisting the VW company in its global expansion.